Marvel Zombies, is it hype over substance? Look, in this video we're going to check out 5 reasons why this game might not be for you. So the very first reason why Marvel Zombies might not be for you is look, you already own a Zombicide game. Zombicide has been around since 2012. We have 1st edition, 2nd edition, we have Black Plague, Green Horde, Invader, Undead or Alive, look the list goes on and there is only so much room on your shelves for the game. Now Marvel Zombies, look, it's going to be very similar to the others. Look, the theme's different but the mechanics, the game is going to be similar. It's going to give you that similar feel. Do you need another one taking up room on your shelves? Only you can answer that. So the second one is the IP, the Marvel IP. Now, Marvel is going to appeal to such a wide audience, such a wide community of people who love Marvel. But the question is, is that community of people going to also love Zombicide? Now, you're going to have that small portion of the community who love Zombicide and who love Marvel, and this is a match made in heaven for those people. But what are those people who just love Marvel and who just love everything Marvel? So, are they going to sit back purchase this game because it has the Marvel theme tacked on and they're going to have regrets at the end. Are they going to walk away disappointed? Is this going to be for them? Is this going to be too heavy for them for what they wanted? I think at the end of the day, the IP is such a great selling point, but it also is bringing in an audience who traditionally wouldn't go for a heavier game like Zombicide. And the third point is almost a follow on from the second point, and that is saturation. Saturation in the market of the Marvel IP in board games. There are so many choices out there for people who just want to sit down and play a Marvel game. You have Legendary Marvel, you have Marvel Villainous, you have Marvel Champions, Marvel United, Marvel Dice Throne. And for people who just want a lighter game, more of a family game, you've got Munchkin Marvel, Codenames Marvel, Five Minute Marvel, Marvel Splendor. Marvel smash up, look the list just goes on. The thing is, how many more Marvel games do people really want sitting on their shelves? They already have a couple sitting there. Do you need one more taking up all that room on your shelves? So number four, and this one is almost quite obvious. This is the price. Look, Simon, they love to throw the kitchen sink at a Zombicide campaign. You're gonna have the core box, you're gonna have the expansions, you're gonna have all the add-ons. You're going to have the big Galactus Mini, and on top of that, you've still got to pay postage, and postage and freight is so expensive at the moment. Let's have a think about this. So, traditionally, their core box in previous campaigns has sort of been around sort of the $100, $100 mark. Then you've got the expansion, then you've got the add-ons. Let's say we're talking maybe $200 for those. Add in, say, $50 for postage, and there's $250 just for your core box plus your expansions. But let's also add in the Galactus Mini as well because we all know that everyone's going to want that. So, oh, here we go. Now we're up to sort of, you know, $350, $400. Where does the money stop? Where is a comfortable price point for a game nowadays? So, it used to be, you know, back in the day, we used to think, you know, $100 was a lot of money for a game. And now, you know, we have these all-in pledges and stuff and we're talking, you know, three, dollars $400, maybe even up to $500. And we've got to stop somewhere. So... Here's the question. If you already have Zombicide on your shelf, do you need to fork out another $200, $300 for Marvel Zombies? So that is the question. The price point is a concern, is something you have to consider, and maybe a reason why you shouldn't back this campaign. So my number five is hype. Hype, hype, hype. Look, Simon, they started this ball rolling months and months ago, and what they did was they sent out that Galactus Mini to all these content creators, and they just got this game sort of a buzz. And all of a sudden, they use their, their favorite content creators, and all of a sudden, their, the Marvel Zombies just gets pushed into more and more videos. Then the smaller YouTube channels, they then jump on board, and I'm included. Look, we just jump on this hype train, and we just get that ball rolling. But Simon, look, they've done this before. They've done this with every campaign, but this one is just through the roof, the hype, because Marvel is also involved. Now, we talked about the IP before. The IP is almost a blessing and a curse because when you start talking a Marvel IP, you are, your expectations are through the roof. So everyone who is watching this game, who is excited for this game, their expectations are up here. Now, hype 
you know, hype can backfire. Like, who hasn't purchased a game before because they sort of fell into that sort of hype trap, and then when the game turned up, they played and went, what was I even thinking? Look, I don't know if Marvel Zombies is going to be that game. It might be the best game. It might be the worst game in the series. We don't know. But you know what? It doesn't matter because they are going to sell so many copies of this game because of that hype. My guess is we're talking seven or eight million. They're going to be double, double their previous campaigns at least. I just think this one is just going to go through the roof. So look, there's five reasons why this game, you know, why you may not want to back this game. Five reasons why you may want to sort of take a step back and go, do you know what? Maybe I should wait. Maybe I can get it down a track. Maybe I'm. Maybe this game just isn't for me. Maybe I'm just jumping on that Marvel IP, and maybe I could just buy another Marvel game to have my Marvel fix. So that's basically it. Look, let me know in the comments below. What do you think? You know, again, I expect this game to have a massive fan base behind it, but is that fan base loyal to Zombicide? Is that fan base loyal to Marvel, or is it loyal to both? Do you need this game? Just have a think about it. That's all I'm doing is asking questions. Look, I'm Hoags. This is Board Game Bangers. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Laters.